The wrap system is absolutely broken with seemingly every other item in the game being manipulated constantly. While this has always been a problem, the game is now to a point where the market is actually just being run by these price manipulators and the average trader is at a major disadvantage. I'd even go as far to say that half of the price movement in the market is caused by these rich people manipulating prices of the items that they own. Now, sometimes this price manipulation is extremely obvious, like in the case of the chest mimic enchant, but more often than not, rap manipulation is actually happening much more subtly and over various rap updates to make it seem legit. Now, when people manipulate prices in this way, it's nearly impossible to say for sure that these prices have been manipulated at all. And this is because in the game, we could pretty much always find a reason for why a price would go up or a price would go down. So when we have this uncertainty about prices, it really makes you question pretty much everything else in the game. And for nearly the past month, the market has been in a huge deflation period, so it's been actually pretty easy to detect when things have been manipulated upwards. But due to this current clan battle, it looks like inflation is once again starting, and this could be a very bad sign because it's going to be a lot harder to tell when items are just going up naturally versus being inflated. Now, luckily for you guys, in this video, I'm going to go over a few ways that you can protect yourself from investing in these falsely inflated items, as well as go over some actual investments that you guys could be making right now. But before we get into that, I'm actually giving away a huge pet every single day of this month. So if you wanna to enter to win that, you're gonna to have to be joined up on my Discord, link down in the description below. Now let's go over how to be safe in this market. All right, so really quickly, the wrap system is actually something that lets us know the average auction price of each item in the game. So essentially, every time an item is sold in a booth or on the big auction board, that sale is taken into account to come up with an average price that that was sold at. Now, this wrap value does not take into account what you trade with your friends, but anything that's actually sold in one of these booths will affect the wrap value. So what price manipulators can do is basically find a lobby that is pretty much empty with just them and a friend or an alt account and they can basically just buy and sell things for a higher price in order to essentially bring up that wrap value. And then they use that inflated wrap value to essentially just try to either sell it at their booth or to use them for trades in other big things. Now, obviously this wrap manipulation is extremely bad for quite a few reasons because more often than not, they don't know the prices of these things and they solely have to rely on the wrap values and it can be extremely hard for the average player to keep up and keep track of which things are being manipulated constantly. For example, one thing that is being manipulated super heavily right now are actually these squeaky toys. So the real price of these squeaky toys is really about 50 diamonds, but somebody is constantly manipulating these things to be over a couple thousand diamonds. Right now, as you can see, it's 1.65k, which is over 30x its original price. Now, what many of these manipulators will do is actually manipulate something like the squeaky toy and then go ahead and try to trade people for some much more expensive things and then throw a ton of things into the trade along with these squeaky toys, which basically ups the overall wrap value of that trade without them noticing. And oftentimes they can end up scamming somebody who doesn't go through and double check at that all the wrap values are correct. Now, if you guys do remember not too long ago, we got a 1% tax put on our booths, which was basically put there in order to stop these wrap manipulators and at least make them lose a little bit of diamonds as they sell these items back and forth to themselves. Now, thankfully for you guys, we do have quite a few tools that you can go ahead and use to check to see if something's price has been manipulated. My favorite of these options is to use ps99wrap.com. So this is going to be one of my favorite options because this site is really good and it keeps adding a ton of features. So first of all, you can add some of your favorite items that you like to watch into a favorites tab, which basically just makes it easier to keep track of the wrap value. So if for whatever reason you wanted to buy some squeaky toys, you could come to this website, look up squeaky toys, click on the graph, and you'll see how the price has jumped dramatically. Now you can use this little feature down here to stretch the graph and see how much it has been selling for uh, over a longer period of time. But basically, as you can see, it's selling around 50 diamonds. 
But it seems like at least once a week now, somebody is manipulating the prices of these things. And sometimes it takes quite a while for the price to actually fall. Now, specifically, this website actually does have this little symbol here, which I think is supposed to tell you whether or not something is manipulated at the moment. Now, if we pull up something else that has been manipulated pretty strongly right now, that would be the chest mimic enchant. So if we look at the graph, we could see that somebody is constantly trying to manipulate the price of this chest mimic down further and further. And you could see that when these prices are being manipulated, it actually takes quite a bit for them to bounce back to their original values. So before the chest mimic was manipulated the first time in the past week, it was sitting at around 1.8 billion. And it did quickly bounce all the way back to 1.6, 1.7 billion before it was manipulated again. And then it barely almost hit the price that it was at before, before somebody manipulated it down again. Now, this is a very different type of manipulation that we don't see too often. And honestly, it doesn't work that well either. So I'm not sure why people keep doing it. But if you were looking to sell something like your chest mimic, you should definitely go ahead and check a website and see its historical value of selling. And if you took a look at this graph, you should be able to see that the price you should be selling at is somewhat around here. So by using this website, you can actually see how volatile these prices are. Now, each of the dots on this graph is going to be a different wrap update in the game. So if you guys didn't know already, the wrap values in game update every four hours. So each of these points are going to be a brand new wrap update. And it is a whole lot easier to manipulate stuff like the chest mimic. And that's why it actually does happen quite often. And that's going to be because a lot less of these enchants are actually being sold constantly. And the wrap value can only update if there are a lot of sales. So items that don't have a lot in existence are going to be manipulated quite a bit more, which you can actually see quite often when it comes to stuff like huge pets. Another really cool feature of this website is if you scroll down on the homepage, it's going to have all of these daily movers. So inside the daily movers tab, you can see a lot of very useful information. For example, this tab that says biggest wrap gains by percent is most often than not going to be the list of things that have been manipulated the most. So as you can see, these squeaky toys were manipulated quite a bit like I just showed you. The value of them is up by 1600% in just one wrap update, which is pretty insane. Now, if you want to see some changed prices in different categories, you can click on daily movers here. And you can use this tab to see raw wrap increase, percent wrap increase, the increase of something existing. And if you want to look at certain categories, you can click here and see stuff like exclusive enchants and ultimates. So if you come here, click on this, you could see a lot of different things that can be very useful for you. Now that last website was useful for seeing the history of the wrap value of a certain item. But if you are looking for the value of something that's a little more rare and you feel like the wrap value isn't very accurate, you can use this website, which is PetSimulatorValues.com. Now, personally, I don't use this very much. I usually just go off the wrap value of items. But if you are trading much more rare items, this website can be extremely useful because it gives a more accurate value number of what people are willing to trade for it. Now, those two tools are extremely useful to help you to make sure that the values of the items that you're trading are what you think they are. Now, in terms of what you guys should be investing in right now and spending your diamonds on in the market. Now, I can't suggest enough for you guys during inflation periods when prices are rising a lot. It's super important that you're not holding on to diamonds like I am. You definitely want to be invested in things that are going to go up in value. So honestly, during periods like this, being invested in whatever the cheapest huge is currently is going to be a great value for you. As well as that, investing in some undervalued exclusive eggs is also a very good value holder. Now, when I say undervalued exclusive eggs, I don't mean the current active exclusive egg. And the reason for this is that anybody can just go ahead and buy a hundred of these exclusive eggs and bring down the price out of nowhere. So it is actually a huge risk to invest in anything that is currently in the exclusive shop. In the same way is why I wouldn't suggest that people be buying the superior chest mimic. I'm not even entirely sure why the price went up for these at all. Since this thing is in the exclusive shop, anybody can go ahead and just buy it and list it for undervalue on the market in case they needed any diamonds. 
So for that reason is why I expect the value of this to go down and is why I don't suggest investing in anything that's in the exclusive shop unless you expect that it's going to be leaving the exclusive shop soon. Now in terms of undervalued exclusive eggs, I would still suggest these sketch eggs as a good value holder for now. If we compare this to any of the most recent exclusive eggs, even the black hole egg is more valued than it. And as you guys know, the sketch eggs were actually one of the least sold eggs. So there is a very low quantity of these things on the market, which makes the potential for the price to go even higher. So if we compare this to something like the superhero egg, the superhero egg is even almost 4 million diamonds more. Which is actually why during this inflation period, I think holding these would be a very good idea. And then along with that, investing in whatever the cheapest huges are is going to be a sure way that you can hold the value of your diamonds. Now, right now, I'm pretty certain that this huge Wizard Westy is going to be the cheapest huge that you can get. And then going ahead and finding any huge that is currently actually below the value of the huge Happy Rock or the huge Happy Computer is also going to be a very good bet. So for example, at this moment, the huge bat is probably a very good one to invest in or the huge will-o-wisp. And that's because both of these huges actually have a very low exist count with the will-o-wisp only having 16,000 existence. Now, if we compare that to the huge happy computer, the happy computer has a million in existence and the wrap value of it is actually more. So it's probably the case that the will-o-wisp has not caught up with inflation quite yet. So that's why that would be a good investment as well. Now, I think I gapped enough for one video for you guys, so I'm going to end it here. Hopefully, some of the tips I gave you in this video are going to be able to help you out. And if you have any other video suggestion ideas, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be looking at all of those. And remember to join the Discord for those daily huge giveaways this month. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.